and welcome to another Lawn Clippings video. Today we are going to be talking about uh, one of our new sets called Plus One, and it's an all-around baby set. Um, as you guys know, if you've been following this whole week, March 12th through March 17th, 2011, we have all of these giveaways going on the blog. Um, it's our first birthday of the company, so we're giving away like lots of stuff and catalogs and goodies and lots of stamps, um, so lots of fun things going on, and, um, and that's lawnfawn.blogspot.com. But today I wanted to show you all of the possibilities that there are with this set and then you have to head on over to the blog and see the amazing samples because the design team just completely rocked it so there's so many fun and cute things you can do with this set um, we tried to make a set that could encompass kind of everything baby so uh, I'm gonna have a baby, you're gonna have a baby. The baby was born, the baby is a girl, the baby is a boy, the baby is going to be born, you're having a baby shower, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm pregnant, I, you know, I, I announcing kind of everything. So that's kind of was our idea with this. So we have all of these sentiments, I'm showing you here with the, that you can see they're all separate, that way you have Itza and then you could change boy, girl, or for the people who don't wanna find out, um, like I have a friend who isn't finding out, then I would do um, It's a Baby instead. Um, and so, you can do congrats, it's a boy, or you can just do it's a boy, um, or it's a baby, etc. Um, then you can also do um, congrats on your shower, um, or just, you know, for baby sh or baby shower together. And then you can use the umbrella and the cute raindrops for that, which would be really sweet. Um, let's celebrate, it's kind of like a nice general sentiment, especially if somebody doesn't know um, if they're having a boy or girl, or etc. Um, and if you had the baby carriage there, it'd be pretty clear that it was for a baby shower. Um, there's a bun in the oven would be a really sweet way to either say congratulations to somebody that's pregnant, or also to do, um, you know, to do actually an announcement that you're pregnant, maybe to um, your grandparents and parents and family and whatnot. Um, and then, um, you know, bundle of joy on the way works really well with the stork. And so all of these little things kind of work together. So um, that's why we did all of these different words um, separate. So you can even do like, there's a boy on the way things like that. So there's so many options with the sentiments which we like giving so that way you can make it your own. So um, I'm just going to start off stamping and showing you some of the things in this set. Here's my non-labeled one. And uh, I want to show off showing a little baby carriage. Or I guess it's, maybe it's a pram. I'm just going to stamp this pram out here. And I'm going to stamp one more because I'm going to show you some different things that you can do with it. So there's that, and we have these little hearts and stars um, in in this, which are really fun to make little backgrounds, which I'll show you in a second. Or you could actually do, um, for the baby carriage, you can add them in. So like this tiny little heart in the baby carriage looks so cute in the wheel, just like that. So you could do a heart for a girl, and then you could do... Um, the star for the boy, so then I would take the little star, and obviously the heart and the star kind of work for either one, boy or girl. And so I just love these tiny little images, and I love how much they add to the baby carriage. You can even decorate the baby carriage with um, with the hearts and stars. But one really fun thing that you could do, I just inked up my stamp instead of cleaning it off, is that you could add and make a really sweet background for a, a baby card or any card really, by just placing the stamps randomly on this block and then just stamping them around. So I'll just change, kind of change my position like this. And this would be, this is like the, just the cutest background. Um, that could make, this could make a card just in and of itself, this in a sentiment with just stamping this background all around. You could even stamp it um, in a die cut shape so it's like in the shape of a heart or something. Um, I feel like I have to do one more here to finish this off. <laughs> so it's really cute. I really like that a lot. It's a really fun thing that, um, that you can do. Um, I just wanted to show you some other thing. My favorite from this set is definitely the bun in the oven. It's so cute. Um, now the cool thing is, is you could stamp it just like this, or you could actually t take off the muffin part. So what I would do would be, um, I would ink up the stamp, and then you can actually take a baby wipe and take off the part of the muffin. 
And, um, and then what I would do is I'd take my finger too and just make sure that's all off. And you're gonna lose a little bit of the back of the oven, but we're gonna fix that. Stamp that. You'll see there's no oven there. And then all you would have to do would be to take um, a fine tip pen. I'm gonna use my Copic multi-liner and a ruler and just draw that line in right there. Now we just have um, just an oven there and you could use that for like a really cute recipe card or maybe like you're having people over for dinner or something like that. So it can actually work by itself, which is I think really fun and kind of, you could do kind of a non-baby card with it. Um, I really love this mobile. It's, uh, it's so cute and sweet and um, and perfect. A lot of these are really perfect for clean and simple cards too, So, which works really well if you were doing, say, baby shower invitations, you wouldn't be stamping forever, you know? So one thing that would be really cute to do with this is either just color it in how it is or paper piece the tiny pieces and um, put them over, which would look really, really adorable. Um, so I have these little pieces I colored and cut out, um, which I think just looks so cute. And how I would put them on is actually I think would be easiest is glue dots. And so what I like to do is, I, it's really gross, but I call it like my snot method. You know how like little kids roll their snot up? Um, that's kind of, you know, kind of roll the glue dots and they can fit perfectly behind there. This works really well with if you're paper piecing the um, plate from Bake Me a Cake too. And it looks super cute and it has so much dimension. It really was fast to do. I just colored them with Copics and, and cut them out and put them right over. And it's just a, just really, really sweet. So there's that, um, which is super fun. Um, of course, we have you know all the sentiments like I was saying. And, um, and then for the baby shower cards, what you could do really cute. You know, you have this umbrella here. And um, where are all my blocks? Here we go. So we have the umbrella, and then you could mask off the umbrella and put the raindrops all around it. And just to show you what the raindrops look like real fast. You know, you have these really cute, there's a little big one, and they're all smiling, you know, because there's gotta be smile. It's babysit, it's gotta be cute and happy. So you could do little raindrops like this all around. You could even just do the raindrops without the umbrella for baby shower, um, which would be just really sweet. I really like, because it's kind of the baby raindrop and the mama raindrop, so that could be really cute too. And, um, Let's see, uh, I think uh, there's, there's a stork image, which you guys will see um, uh, on the blog for sure, and there's a really sweet rattle. Um, and um, I just wanted to just go through um, putting together one of these sentiments really fast. I'm gonna line up the baby right here, and then the shower right underneath. And this would be nice because you could do you know mass production. And you've got the baby shower right there, and then that can be stamped just right above the umbrella just like that for a really sweet sentiment. You could also go straight. So having the word separate really gives you the options of going on, you know, a stack sentiment or a long sentiment. So many different ideas, um, you know, different ideas where you could use it for different things. Also these moons and stars, you could use them on a card that wasn't a baby card, um, which could be really cute because you could just cut them right out of the mobile. And then how we did with the oven where we took out the muffin. Um, so there's no bun in the oven. And, uh, and then all these little hearts and stars, which could be really sweet everywhere. And the umbrella and raindrops, you know, could be really cute for kind of an under the weather card or things like that. So I just love this set. Um, you guys had asked for a long time for a baby set, so we really wanted to do something uber cute and sweet because babies are cute and sweet. So um, I hope you guys just love this. Um, I do have one more thing to show you, and that's a little special thing we're doing for our birthday. Um, for the month of March, we're gonna have a mini that's gonna be free with purchases of $50 or more. So here it is, it's really sweet. And then it will be for sale in our store and um, stores all around the country, and actually all around the world <laughs> um, come um, April. But we wanted to do just a little giveaway, a little thank you for supporting us for, through our first year because you guys have made this company, you guys have helped us so much with, uh, with Facebook and blogging and, and tweeting and comments and, um, 
and all of these things. You guys support us. I'm um, coming on YouTube, you know, the blog everywhere. Um, you guys just and using our stamps and making beautiful creations. There was Putter. Of course, he has to bark on one of the videos. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys this set really fast. It's this little, these little mini sized ones, the two inch by three inch ones. And I actually have a nice version for myself this time. And um, it's a sweet set. It's called Year One, which, you know, in honor of our first year. And it's just a sweet little birthday set. Okay, so I just wanted to show you this stamp real fast. Um, right here we have our uh, sweet sentiment here, our happy birthday sentiment. I just love this sentiment because um, it's kind of a gender neutral font, but it's still super fun and happy. And um, it's always good to have birthday stamps because it's always somebody's birthday, you know? So birthday and thank you, those are the big ones. So there's our, there's our sentiment for this year one set. And, um, and then here is our little cake. And uh, as you can see, I was stamping with it earlier. Um, and I'm using some um, Colorbox Fluid Chalk ink, which I really love, um, with this great warm violet color. It's funny because purple usually isn't my favorite color, but I love this warm violet. Um, I don't know, it makes me love purple, this color. <laughs> it's just gorgeous. So I'm just going through and I like to kind of tap around, especially with a solid image stamp, you really need to make sure that ink is all on there. So I'm just doing that here. And then I'm just going to stamp it right above the sentiment. And I'm just going to apply even pressure all around. And there's our gorgeous cake. This would be so fun, either as just a simple card, or you could stamp the cakes in a bunch of colors, or make your own pattern paper with the cakes in the background, um, or even use Versamark and emboss it. So many fun images. Um, it kind of reminds me of an ooey gooey cake, which I just love. It just makes me happy. So I hope you guys like that, and you're excited about our little promotion that we're doing to say thank you for just being absolutely amazing, um, because really, you guys mean so much to us. So thank you so much for watching. We still do have one more day tomorrow of awesome sneak peeks and giveaways so make sure you come on back and head on over to the blog and comment to win it's lawnfawn.blogspot.com and thank you so much and have an amazing day bye